How's it going, everyone? This is a Total Eclipse Tips, and um, I've had some people ask me, you know, they've accidentally deleted a dictionary, or they've done something stupid like that, and like, oh my god, how I back everything up so this doesn't happen? It's a nightmare. I don't want this to ever happen to me on the job. Uh, I have one suggestion for um, Advantage Software and a solution for you, so you don't have to worry. If you hit Control F, you know, many people they go to delete, you know, files and stuff, you know, like garbage. You know, like I did a little garbage like this, you know, just, oh, this is all just practice, delete it, and you just delete it, right? Usually it asks you every file, I don't know how you could delete something important, but my problem is nothing important should be accessible on this menu. Like right here is my username and my dictionary. So, the problem with Eclipse, well it's not really the problem with Eclipse, it's the problem with people, but this shouldn't be accessible here. This is too dangerous for some people. I don't trust anybody. I don't know why people do this. But I'm going to delete my dictionary. I know this is taboo, this is crazy. I, whatever you think, you shouldn't do this. You're a freaking moron. But I'm going to do it. Let's say I want to delete all this and I just, like a dumbass, just selected it. And I deleted it, even though it prompts me and says, are you sure? And it clearly says, you don't want to delete your dictionary, but I'm like, yeah, I hate my dictionary, so I deleted it. So what? Sue me. You know? There's no dictionary. I, c I can't open it. And the problem is, when you close Eclipse and you reopen it, if there's no dictionary there, it will recreate one and it'll be blank. So when I open it now, it, there's my dictionary is gone. What the hell was I thinking? I know. Well, here's the good thing about what I did. Usually your files are found in your documents and you go to Eclipse and you pick your username, whatever, and they're all there, right? What, notice how none of my files are here for some reason. What I ended up doing is I copied and pasted all those important files, like the jobs and the block files, and I ended up putting it into my Dropbox. So I made a Eclipse Network folder and everything is in my Dropbox. The good thing is when a file gets made or deleted, it, it's synced to this, the cloud. So what I did is I hit Alt U, First of all, I copied everything to that folder, or wherever in your Dropbox, you can name it whatever. Go to Advanced, and where it says Jobs, just select a directory. So I went, you know, found Dropbox, put it on my Eclipse folder, and bam. And then we see where it says Block Files. I went here and selected Block Files and did that. Do not move your user directory. Keep the user local. Keep it on your documents. Don't change the user and put it on your Dropbox. Just your Jobs in your blocks and auxiliary and whatever else you want to make a folder for you can do that so I deleted I deleted my dictionary I don't know how I'm, I'm freaking out what do I do this years of work or God knows how long you've been building dictionary holy shit what did I just do don't worry about it because if you have this on Dropbox Dropbox saves previous versions of everything and you can usually find out what dumbass mistake you did so you can go Dropbox.com and log in, or if you already have Dropbox here, you can right-click it, launch Dropbox website, make it easier in your life, and all your folders are there. So I'm going to go to my Eclipse Network folder, and I'm going to go select my dictionary. So Salem DIX. Notice it was modified two minutes ago, so go, what did I do? Right-click this file, go to previous versions. It says right there. I deleted it two minutes ago. So you notice how different the file size are. This is 16 bytes. It's empty, and this one has data on it. So I'm going to go select the one I was deleted two minutes ago. It's already selected. Go down to restore. But before anything, before you restore it, make sure to close your Eclipse. First of all, I'm sorry. Close your Eclipse, then restore it. You'll notice right here in the green, it should have some little things going on. Wait till it's done. See how it's blue? It's downloading the file. It's restoring. Now it's been updated. You're good to go. You restored your dictionary. You, you're not 
F U C K E D out of your job. You have your dictionary. So you reopen Eclipse. And if you go open your dictionary, you're fine. All my entries are there. And I do this, and the good thing is you open any real time file. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, well, I don't have my machine connected. I forgot to turn it on. But as you can see, it's trying to sync, but because it's in use, it won't let it. You close the file, you name it, blah, blah, blah. It'll sync it, index it, it's done. So it'll send the DI, it'll send the job dictionary for that, the ECL, and the note file, and then they're all there. And you, if you have a computer at home, and you have Dropbox installed on there, it's waiting for you there. Um, you can have a, a hard drive connected to that uh, computer at home, and there's many uh, programs with external hard drives that if it detects any change in a folder, it'll back it up automatically on the hard drive. So you could set that Dropbox folder to be that. So anytime that folder changes and new files get put in, it's on your computer, on your laptop, it's on your station at home, it gets directly backed up to a hard drive, no fuss, no muss, no remembering to, oh, I gotta uh, back it up, and oh my god, I just to back it up. No, none of that garbage shit. Let that shit do it for you, man. This technology's here for a reason, baby. Use it. Don't you, don't sit here and act like it's the 20th century anymore. It's not DOS, you know, let's, let's make technology work for us. Don't, don't cor don't sit there and be a stupid court reporter. Be smart. They want the court reporters that are moving with the technology. Start using it. Come on. Come on, people. No more paper notes. No more of this garbage. No more keeping a box for seven freaking years. Let's just get this done right the first time. I don't recommend you deleting your dictionary to test this. Please don't. But if you really want to have an automatic backup, you can use Dropbox the way I use it. Um, I have, uh, I forgot how much space I have. I have 14, almost 15 gigabytes. Um, usually two gigabytes is more than plenty. If you're a working reporter and you use a lot of audio, real, uh, you know, audio backups, I suggest getting um, Google Drive or something that you can, or maybe just use Dropbox and pay for the extra space. Whatever you want, they all work the same. As long as you change the folder to that, cloud services folder it will back it up and i hope it's not too confusing for you guys i hope your mind can wrap your you can wrap your mind around it i have a copy on my computer it's sent to the cloud and distributed all over the place to my other computers if i have any logged in i have my desktop at home that has it so and i have a hard drive connected to that if i need to I'm not a working reporter yet, so I don't have a need, but at least I have my infrastructure set, so when I do work, I know what I'm doing. So while, do it while you're a student. Get your bearings on it. The technology is there. This software is amazing. It does everything the paid software does, except for print a couple more pages. So take advantage of getting to know your software so you can be a very just efficient deposition, court reporter, a caption a captioner, whatever, you know, use it to your advantage. Don't be don't be an idiot. Come on guys. Let's step it up. And this is Sam signing off. You guys have a good night.